Check out the moves in the big banks today. They soared in today's broader market rally. So now, let's now bring in Bill Nigren, Oakmark Fund partner and portfolio manager. Now, the financials carry the biggest weighting in the Oakmark Fund. So, Bill, do you feel good about the banks? Yeah, and at Oakmark, we don't feel good because they went up today. Uh, we feel good because they're selling at P.E. discounts to the market that they have rarely sold at before. And we think especially the big banks are much better businesses today uh, than they were a decade ago, two decades ago, three decades ago. I, I think there's kind of a knee-jerk reaction among investors that when the talk turns to recession, they think what industries were hurt in the past two recessions. And not really thinking that the past two recessions were more generational. Uh, the pandemic and the great housing recession in 08 were much larger than recessions that have been typical throughout my career. In most of those recessions, the banking industry, uh, the health of the industry was not brought into question. And by the time you knew you were in a recession, you were actually on your way out of it. We wouldn't be surprised if that's the situation that we're in right now. And we think investors are way overestimating the trouble that'll cause for the banking industry. So if that's the case, I mean, the, the Fed stress test, they, they basically just reaffirmed what you, what you already know, right? That the banks in America are probably the most capitalized and strongest they've been in decades at this point. Does that then mean that it's an all clear signal for banks to become those kind of income proxies that they've been in the past, the dividend payers, the ones that kind of have that cyclical exposure yet still pay you to kind of wait around as well? Well, I don't know that the market ever gives an all clear uh, signal on anything, but uh, I do think it's interesting that if, if you look at the leading retail bank, Bank America, that sells at about eight times expected earnings, uh, they have got a capital ratio at the bottom of the Fed's severe uh, stress test that's better than they had in the boom times before the great housing recession. So this industry is much stronger than it used to be. And what we've been through the past decade, where you know, the banks are always part of the risk-on, risk-off trade, that's been unusual in the history of banks. As you said, they used to be viewed as more stable businesses, more dependable income generators. And I think the managements in these companies today are more oriented in that direction of getting dividend payouts that can be reliable. And when times are good, using excess capital to buy back stock rather than pushing on loan standards to try and grow their top line revenues when that top line growth really isn't present. So we like the way they're being run. The leaders, uh, we think, are as competitively advantaged as they've ever been, and the market is certainly pricing them very cheap. At, at the low end of multiples, a name we own like Ally Financial sells at about four times expected earnings, and the highest quality names like Bank America are up at about eight times. You know, to have the high end of this industry be half a market multiple seems kind of silly.